What's up guys? As a young person, it can be confusing to learn where to put your money. People talking about 401ks, Roth IRAs, all these acronyms. In this video, we're gonna tell you what you should do with your money. Gab and Bren here. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. We are all about how to save the planet and your wallet. So today's video, before we get into it, I want to do a little shout out to a really great friend who happens to have a YouTube channel, and that is at Joyce Lynn. She is a beauty. Hey Joyce. Yeah, hey Joyce. <laughs> she is a beauty lifestyle blogger, vlogger. She's awesome. I would totally recommend checking out her channel. And the reason we're giving giving her a shout out is because probably about like three to four months back, she asked us to do a video on this content and we told her we would. And just like good friends do, it happened way later than expected. So here's that video, Joyce. So thank you so much for the idea and let's get into it. So a strategy for your money, you're starting to make some money and you have no idea what to do with it. We were in the same exact place probably about two years yeah. ago. And the first thing that we really want to hone in on is to pay off any debts that you may have outstanding. And if you have multiple areas of debt, take a look and prioritize one at a time. And typically that has to go with whatever has the highest percentage of interest. So the first place you can start off is credit card debt. This is because typically it has the highest rates of interest, sometimes a whopping 17 plus percent. It's absolutely insane because you can make minimum payments on your outstanding balance, but because the interest is so high, you will never pay off your debt. The interest accumulates more than what you're paying off, so you're stuck with this debt for life. So please, please, please never get into credit card debt, and if you are, it's not the end of the world, but prioritize that. Then look at other outstanding debts, could be something like student loans, maybe a mortgage, and see how you can handle those debts to really prepare yourself to have more disposable income to invest so yeah before you can get to a point where your money is working for you you really need to first cover this debt but once you get all your debt cleared out and your net zero then you can focus on the next step so this is one that I can speak to personally having a job for a fortune 500 employer um, and this is a 401k so our recommendation is gonna be if you have a 401k and your employer offers a company match then 100% of the time you should take this match. This is essentially just getting like free money, whatever you put in and your company matches it, it's getting 100% return right off the bat. So my company matches up to half of what I put up to 6%. So essentially they'll just raise my salary by like 3% every year just by contributing to the 401k. So that is gonna be an awesome place to start with your money if you do have this as an opportunity for you. Correct. I do not have this opportunity. I have not worked for a company really ever. I've only done internships, so I never had this 401k opportunity. But just because you don't, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. So I don't think that's a bad thing by no means. There's no need to get into the corporate world, even though Brendan is doing great in his hey, job. I, I won't be here forever. So. <laughs> it's not a bad place to be. If you have it, take advantage of it. And if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so once you have your 401k plan, then you want to look into having a savings account, essentially a cash reserve. So how long? We're talking about three months of your living expenses saved as an emergency fund. So this you do not touch. This is not an investment. This is for your own safety and security. Emergencies, accidents happen, and you really need access to that money. And people who don't have it, unfortunately, then can go into that credit card debt to cover that hospital emergency bill that they didn't have the money for. So take a look at your monthly expenses, so including your rent, your groceries, your insurance, your cell phone, everything, subscriptions included, and add that up, okay? Then you're gonna multiply that by three to see what your three month expenses are, and then save that and tuck it away. Total bonus points if you can do more, but this is a great starting point. Honestly, you don't have to do this after your 401k. You can do it in any order, but this is so important, guys. So totally, totally, totally prioritize having an emergency fund. 
All right, so once you get this cash buffer built and you have about three months of your living expenses covered, then you can start thinking about the next step. And the next step we're gonna talk about is a Roth IRA that we personally contribute $6,000 each year to, between the two of us, or for each of us. Um, so what this is gonna do is this is a tax advantage account. So whatever money we put in up front, we pay taxes on it, it goes into the account, and within the account you can invest in whatever stocks you want, um, or whatever funds, or whatever you wanna invest in. And then when down the road when you pull your money out, you're gonna pull it out tax free. So this is gonna be awesome to build your wealth over time. Personally, I think that the fact that they even have a contribution limit means that you should fully take advantage of this. So they allow you to put up to $6,000 a year to do that, and you should do that every single year. You do this over time and you're gonna be a millionaire, like no doubt. Your, your money grows tax free and then you just get to pull it out and reap all the benefits later. So this is an awesome place to put your money. Okay, once you have that Roth figured out, now we're gonna go back to that three month reserve I talked about earlier. So what you're gonna wanna do is grow that reserve, say to six months, so essentially doubling it. So you wanna cover six months of expenses in this cash reserve fund for emergencies. Once again, this is not an investment fund. This is something that you have on the side, but you always can put it in, say, a high interest savings account. So you're gaining something on it. But the purpose is not to play around with this money. It's really just to have it parked somewhere safe in the event that you need it. So just wanted to point out really quick that this six month point that we selected, it's just kind of an average that what we found to be really suffice for most people. However, don't don't stop there by no means. Don't just, you know, save only six months and then put the rest into the market or something like that. It's totally awesome to have way more than you need. For example, us, we have a lot more than just a six month in our cash reserve. And we just have it on standby, that excess, maybe for when the market dips, we have more to put into it and whatnot. But find a number that's good for you, but definitely three month minimum and six months when you have that more cash is great number to strive for. All right, so once you have all this stuff set up and you have all your bases covered, you are in a great place to set yourself up well financially. But once you have all this done, you can really do with your money whatever you want to. For us personally, after all of this, we go to a brokerage account and we invest our money without any tax advantages, but this is where we do our dividend growth investing. If you're not familiar with that, we'll leave a card up below or up above uh, to show you how we do that. Uh, but if you don't wanna do that, a lot of people go back to their 401k and match that out and other types of investments if you wanna get into real estate or other ways to grow your wealth. Really, this last one is just a wild card. It's whatever else you want to do once you have those fundamentals covered. All right, guys, so that's it on our strategy video. If there's more content like this that you want us to dive deeper into, leave it down in the comments below. And once you finish watching this video, totally make sure to check out at Joyce Lynn on YouTube. Super fun videos. She had a video on, uh, what was it? Rice, water, and hair. That, was a good that one. I absolutely loved. It was a TikTok trend that seems so cool. So guys, check her out and give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today. And if you're gonna try it, thank you so much for tuning in to Gab and Brand and we'll catch you next time.